quick video just to tell you about how you could use technology to make the most of your group work. So obviously you're going to be working a lot over the Christmas holidays remotely. So this is OneDrive. You all have access to OneDrive as students. If you haven't used it before, some of you might have used Microsoft 365. This is now called OneDrive. So here you've got all these different apps that you've got access to. Obviously Teams, you could set up Teams meetings. You've got all these uh, Microsoft applications that you used to have to pay for. Now, because you're a Cardiff Met student, you have access to all of these. So I'll just show you OneDrive to start. So with OneDrive, you can set up folders. So I'd suggest you set up a group folder. So you go to new, you go to folder, and then you could set up your group folder. Once it's set up, so let's pretend this child of ed has been set up, you can then share that. So by pressing the share link, make sure in the drop down that you allow editing, and then you can put a deadline of that. Obviously you don't need too long with that. Press apply, send the link around by email to all of your group, and they've all got access to the shared folder. So say then you show in your folder you look in, and you wanted to have a running document. So you could have a, doc, a Word document, And again, because they have access to this folder, they will have access to this. So you could have childhood ed assessment. And here you could delegate tasks. So you could put in a folder there. You could say, I don't know, Joe is going to be looking at one element of the assessment. Emily is going to be looking at the next. Robert is going to be doing the next part, as you can see what I'm doing here. So you've got this shared folder. You can all access, you can all have access to this and uh, make this whatever you want. The other good thing you can do is you could have, and I'd probably suggest doing this, if you're going to do your vodcast using PowerPoint, you could use a PowerPoint here, and you can all contribute to that PowerPoint. As long as you've shared the link, you can all contribute. So you could have this presentation that you're all contributing different slides to, which is a really good thing you could do. So that's obviously OneDrive. We've also got G Drive, which is Google. So some of you may want to use this. I'd probably suggest just using OneDrive, but if there are any of you out there that want to use Google, the reason I'm showing you this is that a number of schools now use Google. So this could be a really good uh, opportunity for you to get some experience in using G Drive. It's a similar concept. You can set up new folders. You can then share them. So for example here, if I wanted to share my Aole, you can share it, you can add people. The really important thing here is to change the permissions. So they make sure that they are editors, not just viewers. Otherwise, they won't be able to um, edit anything on there. If you're stuck on any of this, I can show you. But I would, if you're going to be doing a lot of work on remotely, G Drive, so it's found, if you sign into Gmail or Google, this is your G Drive, a D, this is your G Drive, and then all your folders are here. Again, similar thing you could do, you could set up a running document on Google Docs, or you could run up a Google slide, which is like PowerPoint. Again, any questions, please let me know, but I would definitely use technology to collect all your ideas together, because if you've got all separate folders, all separate files, you could be doing something and duplicating the work that someone else is doing. At least here, you can all see what everyone's doing. So I'd definitely be looking at either Google Drive or OneDrive.